Hey guys, Silent Thunder here with a quick guide on how to apply multiple operations to the same group. The reason why you might want to do this would be if you're selling something, um, for example, I sell flasks. And as I sell them, I sell them in stacks of 1, stacks of 5, and stacks of 20. So to accomplish this, first you want to go to Module Operations, go to your Auctioning tab, and create three or more, however many, up to five different operations. So for my flasks, for example, I have match stack size because I only want to post um, my singles. I want to undercut other singles. I don't want to undercut the stacks of five or 20 on these. And then for post, I would post um, however many, ten. in this case, 10 stacks of one um, with my price settings. And an easy way to, to create a second group and keep a lot of your same uh, details would be to go to management. And here you can rename the group or you can duplicate the operation. What I did was duplicate the operation uh, let's go flask times 10 this time just for an example. Um, that's just the name so I know that that's flasks and it's stacks of 10. So once you duplicate your operation and it takes you right to it, um, all of your settings stay the same. It, the match stack size is already kept. Uh, if I go to post, uh, it's 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 still posting 10 stacks of 1. I don't want to do that. Maybe I want to do two stacks of 10 since this is my stacks of 10 so I would change that and then um, if I wanted different prices for it I could um, but where I use percent of crafting I like to leave it like that for these items other things like uh, maybe enchanting mats or gems that are selling stacks raw gems that is um, maybe I would change reduce the price with the stack size but in a case like this I tend to leave it the same and uh, once you have all the operations made and you're satisfied, I'm going to delete this one because I don't use it. Um, okay, that's gone. So once you have all the operations made and you're satisfied, you go back to the group that you're trying to apply multiple operations for. In my case, it was flasks. You click on operations. And there's a button here. It says add additional operation. So you just click that and it puts a new operation in and then I could have chosen my uh, flask times 10 had, had I not deleted it but I'm just going to leave it as no operation because I don't need another one at this time and that's how you apply multiple operations to one group so I could post in different stack sizes and uh, as long as you check off the match stack size it will ignore the prices of the other stacks and only undercut equal stack sizes that you're posting. And uh, one other thing, if you're post, when you're posting, it's going to post, in this case, it's going to post the stacks of one first. And then if, if it has enough, it will move on to the stacks of five. And then if it has enough, it'll go to the stacks of 20. If you wanted to post your stacks of 20 first, Make sure it's first on your list, then maybe your stacks of five, then your stacks of one. Whichever order you want it to post in, put that as your operation order. Anyway guys, I hope this was helpful, and uh, don't forget to subscribe, I'll be coming out with some more guides soon.